Hey guys, this is Red. Um, I'm doing a commentary on this one because this is the 20th match, maybe. I don't... I have set it up kind of weird because I had beta matches for Uncharted 3 from the Subway beta. Then I had, I think, matches from, like, the beta beta. And then I had matches numbers for just whatever. And I think some of them I started redoing because I lost all my content and had to redo everything. So some of it was Subway with that, too. So this one is not from Subway, but it is about three months old, four month old data. But I played really good in this match. Do I like the way they changed Uncharted after that new patch? I did not know that Uncharted 3 had gotten so many changes to it. It's not even funny how bad they messed. This game was really, really fun. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. And then when I come back to it, it's like they changed everything. So now you, everyone, no matter what, can buy any t-shirt that got, that got, uh, in sent out to people that went to special PAX events and Comic-Con and stuff like that. So, now my character is not unique. It takes that uniqueness away from my character. You can buy it for like 99 cents now, the shirt. And I think that's stupid too. You should not have to pay extra. And apparently they added hats or something. And when you buy it, like you don't even have to like go through a challenge or something and to get a reward you don't get really get a reward because you could have just bought it for like 99 cents or something a dollar 99 i don't they've been charging it's just ridiculous and i think people that bought that thing for like 50 bucks should have gotten more for their money and they should have gave them the free stuff if you actually paid for that pack that gave you all the multiplayer maps and everything for, for free when basically all they did was rehash maps and give you this. one of the things I actually counted was rehashed characters from Uncharted 2. And that's ridiculous. I don't even think they have a wetsuit Elena yet. I'm not even sure, but I don't think they do. And that's the one thing I really wanted. So the rest of this is going to be talking about my YouTube channel, which I haven't really gotten the multiplayer views, except on Resident Evil 6 and Dead or Alive 5, which they've been both doing pretty decent for me. Just the Ada Wong, the Ada Wong multiplayer has been doing good. Leon won. I'm probably just going to stick with Ada Wong on this channel because apparently no one really cares for Leon. I don't understand why, but I did pretty decent on hit those matches. The main reason I can't really make up any more videos for it is because none of my friends play Resident Evil 6. It's ridiculous. And then when I do get someone in it, they suck. Like even people, I added a couple off of YouTube here. You don't play with me or you're just like, we ended up losing the one guy, the Chris guy that we, I did do good on the one match. I only was able to upload one match. We lost seven matches because he kept dying. And I couldn't get to him in time on like the last one. In the one match, we had 10 seconds left and he died. It was really ridiculous. But I'm not going to be changing anything on this channel too much. Just I want to open up a new channel. I want to do, I'm probably going to do all multiplayer on the channel. Like I'm probably not going to do Call of Duty because that's never been popular on my channel. Call of Duty has been oversaturated throughout the internet that no one really cares for my videos on it except I do want to upload the one match that went 24 and 0 I'm proud of that match and it was just like okay this is way too easy why am I there's no one killing me it's and yeah it's just crazy and that was in a 3 3v3 match and there's so much stuff that's been taken over in Uncharted 3. This old gameplay, this was when it was amazing. This game was so awesome. And I lost all my stats. I lost all my stuff. So I had to re-download most of it. And I still can't get them pants back because I have to actually unlock it again. Or I could, I guess I could buy it. You could pay money. You could, like, you buy all your stuff back. If I bought all my stuff back, I'd probably be spending like 50 bucks. They really... And then they have no customer support. So you're charging people money and stuff, but you have no customer support line. Call of Duty is great. Activision is great with their um, Call of Duty support. 
uh, I don't know Uncharted is just retarded, but like, tell me what you think I should do with a new channel. If I should open it, I'm going to be probably using the Electronica slash PlayStation Filmer official channel because the PlayStation Filmer channel that my original channel, um, I have a lot of trolls that are going to just thumbs crap down like nothing if I start uploading to that again. So that's the main reason why I don't want to use that account unless all you guys come over from this channel and start watching videos in that channel. I could just take all multiplayer and stop uploading to this channel and just upload all multiplayer to that channel. I could do comedy videos with games or something. I don't know what what do you guys want. So comment, please comment on my channel and the channel comments. They've been really low for a while. But yeah. Just tell me what you think I should do with that. That's another thing. Look at that. I rode away from the grenade, but it seems like it sucks you in and it doesn't let you go on this game. And if you jump out of it, you cannot jump out of a grenade, but I've seen other people do it. But on my character, he always gets sucked in when I jump. You have to roll out of a grenade. I hate that you can throw... A grenade can already be on the ground, but they can throw it back like nothing. How's that even pop? That's not realistic. This game used to be realistic, at least. And now it's not really. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else I could say, but yeah, just tell me in the comments. Wait, there's a nice shot. And I will try to apply all that I can to that new channel. I'm probably not going to get partnered with TGN on it, but yeah, you have to at least have 750 views a day averaged for to get partnered by TGN and it used to be a thousand so they actually cut it down I'm probably gonna go to a smaller company like Social Blade which I heard they pretty much partner anyone and just get less money from it but you know what I'm not gonna be uploading to it I'll be uploading probably like once a week twice a week whatever I whatever I can upload because I got uploaded this video this channel is my main channel I'm not gonna be disbanding from this channel so, and the other thing is that I wanted to mention about is that you guys, I can now partner you through TGN. I am now able to recruit people. So that's pretty exciting. If you know anyone that has over 750 views per day, average like 750, you could have like 780, 900, 1000, you could have anything like that. Over that many views a day, then yeah, I can partner you with TGN as long and they're a great network. As long as you have that requirement and you have to have no like no music copyright, can't be like taking videos off of IGN. Like I've seen some people they make montages with IGN and logo on the bottom. It's like, well that's just dumb because you can never get partnered. You could, but that partner person is pretty dumb. They're not supposed to do that because IGN could sue them for you making money off of their video. So, yeah, just make sure you do that. Cutscenes, usually people don't... As long as you got gameplay and walkthroughs and you only have some cutscene videos or something, I could probably partner you. If you have all cutscenes, I'm not going to be able to partner you because... Like, look at my channel with the copyright strike with that stupid Activision Transformers crap. I, I still don't believe that. I don't know. It was up on my channel for over two weeks to a month. And then you decide, why didn't you just send a copyright claim so I could just say, when I delete the video, I don't get a strike. Most people are lenient like that, but they aren't. Activision was really bullshit with that. So like I said, just comment I I don't really know like don't that's the only thing I can think of to do on a new channel just have it small sign a contract with one of these small partners so then I don't get all these copyright claims like crazy and just do uncharted 3 do any multiplayer of new games modern, modern warfare 3 probably not really because I don't know why you guys love on my uncharted stuff always gets views so I'm happy with that but, yeah. 
You want to play with me on uh, Uncharted 3? You got to add. I'm not going to do anything on my old account on Red, on, uh, Red Sniper Zero God because I have a thing that says that I have like real, my, all my stats on the leaderboards are the same. If I started over, would they get deleted and go down to zero or one in really bad scores? I don't know. I want my leaderboard stats to stay the same. So I made a new account. It's called Blue Zombie Sniper. You want to add me? Add me on that. I'm getting real tired of these. Oh my gosh. I got so many requests for red, the Red Sniper account. And some of you guys are really bad at the game. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. And even though I lost in this match, uh, I'm the one that carried the team. Uh, 14. I'm like... Basically, I have as I have like one of the best scores out of everyone on all teams, but we lost because my partner sucked. He got like four kills. I got like 14. I came in. Oh my gosh, I did better than everyone. Four, 15 and 14 is still pretty bad. So subscribe, comment, let me know what you think.